Now, this is meant to be an interactive session, so can anyone see the political relevance of those two songs? No is a satisfactory answer. I, th I thought about climate change, kind of stuff when you're talking about the snow. Just Speak up a bit. Sorry, Carl. It, um, your line about the snow, like where is the snow when you think about climate change and um, yeah, changing I do bear in mind I wrote that in 1958. Yeah, no, but that's what I remember thinking about. It's slightly been over, over because, <clears throat> let me just tell you, in 1958 I went uh, to work in Billy, Billy Smart Circus, I just mentioned that earlier, <clears throat> and when I came back to live in London, that's when the Street Offenders Bill had been passed, which outlawed women standing on the streets. And they all became call girls. Now I'm waiting on the telephone. And where I was living in Notting Hill, in, in London, there was a, a, a window opposite where the light was on all night. And I said to one of my neighbours, what's with that place? They never seem to go to bed. They said, well, it's a call girl. So I wrote this song about her. Because uh, in another life, before I went joined the circus, I, I was a pretty screwed up guy, I've got to tell you. And I spent a lot of time hanging out with people in what you might call, what the French call the demi-monde, the, the underworld. Uh, prostitutes, strippers, gamblers, uh, strip club owners, etc. And I knew a lot of these women. And I knew about their lives. And I put it into the song. Now, the seeds of love to me is political for ve se several reasons. Firstly, it's a song from people who don't read music, probably, and it's survived over 400 years, passed on by one musically illiterate person to another. Not necessarily musically illiterate, quite, quite a long, a lot of the folk singers in this time where, where they could read music because they played in the, in the church choir, etc. Um, but basically it's not part of the established order of music. In fact, some of the traditional songs which were collected have been collected over the past two or three hundred years. Trained musicians say it's impossible that this old guy in a village in Norfolk who can barely read words, never mind music, can sing in the Mixolydian mode, which is one of the several modes of, of folk song and, and, and hymn, hymnology, hymnody, because lots of trained singers can't do that. The reason the trained singers can't do that is because they've been trained not to do it. So this is our culture that has been stolen <coughs> from us, and to sing the songs of the culture is to actually declare that they have, uh, have value. And I believe my song, The Flowers of Summer, which, as I say, I stole the idea of the chorus from Francois Villon, is about how people will survive. It's like Mother Courage in the Brecht, Brecht play. Uh, people survive despite everything. They, everything any shit that gets thrown at them, people actually do survive. And that's what the song is about. It's about survival. And, you know, how each of us has, has that power. Now, I'm beginning to preach, which I have a tendency to do. Once I start getting excited, and I've just knocked over my drink. <laughs>